Hey everybody, welcome back to another Wheel Legacy Classic Cartoon Commentary, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit in Mars, directed by Walter Lance and William Bill Nolan. I'm Justin, aka J. Lil. And that's Hortensia the Cat. <laughs> Hortensia is uh, most commonly known as Oswald the Lucky Rabbit's girlfriend. She she first appeared in The Banker's Daughter, which apparently is a lost Oswald cartoon, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to find it one day and take a gander at it. Man, Hortensia is needing attention right now. And this guy... This guy, I can't figure out if he is a response to Pegleg Pete, the cat, from Steamboat Willie, um, or if it's just, he came around before, no, he couldn't have come around before, because this came out in 1930, and Pete is from 1928, so I bet that guy was in response to Pegleg Pete, since Pegleg Pete couldn't be a Oswald uh, rival. And he's actually a badger. <laughs> That's all I've been able to figure out about him. It's, he looks kind of like a wolf, but he's actually a badger. And, and can really uh, kick. <laughs> why, why, are, why are there witches just flying around space? <laughs> the pegleg badger kicked Oswald into space where he was picked up by a space witch who flew him to Mars <laughs> where some of the most fascinating creatures exist like this guy goat horse and again we got something someone looking like horse horse collar is that the king of Mars you are Who? Oh, it's Oswald's theme song. I love this song. Oswald. <sighs> Oswald really does rival Mickey Mouse. In my heart, for my favorite iconic character from animation. Maybe the king of Mars. Or well, maybe queen. Could be. Emperor. Ruler of Mars. There you go. That's all inclusive, right? Ruler of Mars. That apparently could take their stomach out and lose track of it? Or were they dribbling it? What are you? hybrid of two different creatures, or does all your species look like this? Oh, they rule. <laughs> Base goats. <laughs> okay. That one in the front froze. <laughs> and just kind of slid. Oh, these just get more and more concerning to look at. Like... <laughs> Oswald, stop touching things. You know what else this means? That much like Earth, all the animals can be used as musical instruments. See, this is just backwards. That dog-chicken thing was an anomaly, but the horse and human-drawn ca carriage was just a reverse. What is this thing? And are all the Martian creatures afraid of that thing? <laughs> Unless those are that creature's feet, this creature has the wherewithal to put on shoes on all six of its feet. I think I saw six legs. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I had a dream like this once. I was chasing a little rabbit <laughs> around Mars. 
Oh, don't bring that thing. Okay, thank God. I was going to get real worried if that horned cow ball thing made its way to Earth. So we caught a witch to Mars, and I was catching a comet back to Earth. And we're getting nailed on the goods by stars. And letting out the most terrifying laugh when it touched its butt. Oh, there's Pegleg Badger. Dragging Hortensia to... Ah! Hit by a meteor. I look forward to seeing more Hortensia. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> I want to find out more about that peg leg badger guy. Who really looked like a wolf, but I guess... I don't know. I didn't get badger. I definitely got wolf. Uh, who I assume is just a response or parody of peg leg Pete. And... I am now on the quest to find the banker's daughter, the supposedly lost Oswald cartoon, which holds the debut, first appearance of uh, Hortensia the Cat. Hmm. So come back, check out what, uh, what I'm able to find. And that being said, thanks for watching this video. As always, thank you so much for your support. Um, go to leallegacy.com, L-E-A-L, legacy.com for all the other killer content we produce. Uh, we do gaming videos, movie commentaries, podcasts, um, scope out our line of streetwear and apparel, uh, Skeleton Crew brand. All Leal Legacy creations are brought to you by Skeleton Crew brand. Uh, Skeleton Crew is street apparel featuring graphics designed by myself uh the graphic themes are not really you know there's not really a cohesive theme through everything it's just my rendition of things i find to be super rad <laughs> and speaking of things i find super rad check out my podcast Leo Legacy's Radnarok, where I just rant and rave about things I find to be super rad. Uh, you can also find my other podcast, Nerd Cult Underground, who I do with my buddy Field Mouse. Um, both podcasts can be found at LeoLegacy.com and anywhere and everywhere podcasts are available, like across all the platforms. Oh, yeah. Stoked to be doing more of these. Please subscribe. Hit the little ding-dong bell. Leave a comment. Tell your friends. Hit, a, hit the thumbs up. You know, all those things. And uh, I will catch you next time, folks. Good night.